Good morning, folks. We've got a big earthquake, a cosmic mystery solved, and a look at the severe solar storm that ended the month of April. But we have also had geomagnetic activity this week, and more is expected today. So let's go to our star where the last 24 hours saw M-class solar flares continue to erupt from the northern sunspots, but they are now turned away from Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. The previous CME is still on its way and will be important to note the preconditioning for the magnetosphere is a relevant factor with us having taken enhanced geomagnetic activity due to the previous CME impact. That could amplify the impacts of the CME expected to arrive today if its magnetic angle couples well with the Earth. NOAA is predicting up to KP7 level 3 geomagnetic storms from the burst. Again, that is expected to arrive at some point today. We'll have to keep our eyes on the plasma filaments and the remaining sunspot groups as well as the solar wind. We are certainly in the forecasted May uptick period of the 5.9 month cycle and 3 month half cycle uptick on the sun. There was a big earthquake yesterday striking near Tonga. Readings came in at magnitude 7.6 which is a pretty large seismic event. Luckily it was well over 200 kilometers deep which diminished the surface impacts as well as it having been an event that was out to sea. Some of you may have heard about the mystery of the line of stars out in space. Astronomers had been surmising that maybe it was a runaway black hole triggering star formation as it went, but no. They now think it's actually much further away and is actually a galaxy seen perfectly edge on. This explanation makes much more sense, and when sense invades astronomy, that's always a good thing. Lastly, folks. Scientists are already desperately trying to explain why the CME impact at the end of April was able to cause a level 4 KP8 geomagnetic storm. It was mild to slightly above average space weather in terms of an impact. The explanation here is interesting but unrealistic, and whether or not their physical character explanation of the CME is correct, which is uncertain, it still had no business producing such a large disruption to Earth's magnetic field. As we said before, the far better explanation is that Earth's magnetic field is simply more vulnerable as it weakens in the ongoing magnetic pole shift, leaving Earth to take stronger and stronger disruptions during less intense space weather events. We greatly appreciate your support. Lots of good links to check out below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.